Hi, this is Angela Wolf, and I want to show you a really easy way to attach two totally separate fabrics, like faux fur, which this is about a half of an inch thick, to silk charmeuse. Without having to use a walking foot, without having to use a ton of pins, you won't believe how easy this is. I know a lot of you have the Brother 1500 machine because we've talked about it. It's a great, I call it one of my commercial machines because it stitches so fast and it still has the automatic cutting features and the other things that you get used to with the home sewing market. But this 1500 has a really cool attachment that will help you sew this fur to this silk in one easy step, foolproof. So let's take a look. So let's take a look at some of the features on this machine that can help with this crazy fabric sewing together. First we have this little color-coded chart down here. You see this? There's four options for you. And this is for your feed dogs. And it, it actually shows you the height of your feed dogs. Now this pink one is the one we're going to be using, and that's with the pin feed. You can see the little thing that sticks up here? Now I'd show you it on the feed dogs, but you can't see it, so I'm just showing you here. And this knob here, this is how you adjust. And we're going to turn that right to the pink. Then let's go up here and look at this part here. Now this part is a really nice feature on this machine. This is the height of your presser foot. And to adjust that, you just adjust this right up here. Very easy to use, color-coded the same. So remember we're using the pin feed? So I'm going to adjust my presser foot to go all the way up to here. And because we're using faux fur, which is a little thicker, I'm going to bring it right to the top of that pink. So let's take a look at this feature right here. This is called a fabric separator. You can push it out of the way when you don't need it and push it right underneath. You can feel it go right into place, right underneath your presser foot. There's an actual, a special presser foot just for that. It's a little bit smaller than your regular presser foot. So you need to put that on and here's your fabric separator. So let me just give you a little visual of how this works. When you're sewing, something like this crazy fur or velvet, anything like that. See how this slides right underneath? Just like that. So where does your other fabric go? Right over the top. So you're basically, when I'm going to start sewing, I'm going to put my faux fur underneath of here and my silk on top. And they're both going to sew through just like this. And between the pin feed and this fabric separator, all of this fabric is going to sew perfectly without pins, without having to worry about one fabric bunching up more than the other. So let's take a little closer look. I'm going to throw my fabric under here so you can kind of see the contrast so that it's not silver on silver. But here, once we click this into place, you'll feel it kind of just click into place. You need to put your needle down with the hand with the hand wheel, just to make sure that the needle goes through the grooves there, otherwise you'll break your needle. So double check that before you get sewing, because that will really be a mess. So I have this in place, I have my presser foot in the highest position with the pink setting, and I have the feed dogs with the pin feed setting. So I'm going to make a wide seam allowance here just so you can see everything. Slide this through. So there we have the faux fur, here we have some silk, I'm just going to start sewing. Just put your presser foot down as normal and just start sewing. Now I have the machine set at like a 4.0 stitch just to start out so you can see it better. See how easy that is? So you're just sliding both pieces of fabric, one is going through here, one is underneath, and you're stitching. I can think of so many applications for this, faux, faux leather, I mean, I can't tell you how many times there are certain fabrics that you sew a lining together and it just makes you want to cry. That sewed together just beautifully. Now you noticed, I had no pins, I just ran it through the machine, the back side, there's no ripples, you can see how thick this fabric is and you know how gentle silk is. Here's the big test. Look at that. Not even one, not even one crease. And for those of you that sew a lot and you attach linings 
to fabric like this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Look at how perfect that is. I never used a pin or anything. Again, this is Angela Wolf, AngelaWolfPatterns.com. Thanks for joining me.